Hey guys, it's Colin from Tilt. Uh, this month on Tuesdays at Tilt, we're going to talk about handlebar designs. We think that there's a little bit of a misconception out there that a lot of people just think each handlebar design is for like a different style of riding or to like look different when really there's a, a very specific engineering purpose to make each style bar. So we're at my house today and we're going to pull up uh, the 3D design software so we can apply forces on the computer just like riding would to see where the bars would bend if they were to bend and then we can check out the strengths and weaknesses of each bar and that might help you guys uh, you know choose which bar you want to ride and then after that we're going to cruise by the tilt warehouse we're going to do a warehouse tour because a bunch of people requested that on the comments of the last video then we're going to announce the winner because we had a contest last week so we'll announce that at the end of the video as well so t-bars are probably the most popular design on the market they're super simple looking a lot of people like that you can throw bar spins and you because they're straight across on the tube you can catch the bar spin anywhere so a lot of riders like it for that but the t-bar design has an inherent uh, weakness in it that we've come up with some ways to minimize so that people can get a good t-bar so if we run a soup like a simple animation of the kind of force that you would be experiencing on the handlebar like when you land we can see that the handlebar wants to bend down obviously but what this shows us is that the weakness isn't along the top of the bar the weakness is right by the welt by the sharp area in the welt if you make a handlebar and you don't do the appropriate heat treating uh, around the weld um, that's a really big issue so something that we do with tilt to try to make the best scout bars that we possibly can is that we, we know that this could be an issue with T-bars, so we have a really important heat treating process that maybe we can talk about on a future video. But in essence, after every handlebar is heat treated, we heat it up super hot, quench it in oil, and that makes it really strong, uh, and then we temper it in an oven for a long period of time, and that makes it a little bit more flexible. So then you get a strong, flexible handlebar, and then every handlebar has to be straightened because when we put it in the oil, they actually bend a little bit. So tilt bars take on a lot more processing than some T-bars do, and that really helps the strength and it helps minimize uh, the weakness that we can see here. So the next style of bar that we make is the hybrid bar. It's kind of a blend of the scout bar and the sentry bar. And there was another misconception when we came out with this that it was just for like a certain look or style. Uh, but we don't make products just for a look. We always have to have a certain style because style is a big function of scootering, but then also a purpose, like a real design purpose for the product. So with the hybrid bar, we wanted to improve the scout bar that we just saw. And we saw that the weakness was by the weld. And with the hybrid bar, the shape of the crossbar actually removes that stress point. And we can show you how we came up with that. But in essence, we tested over 40 different shapes uh, doing the same process of stress analysis. And we came up with the strongest shape. And that's why the hybrid bar has a super smooth cross tube. And looking at the uh, simulation here, we can see that there's a more even spread of the stress point. There's not just one weakness here. So combining this with the heat treat process that we do for the scout bar, we actually offer this bar with what we call our, life, or our thrash resistant lifetime guarantee. And it's in essence a uh, lifetime warranty. Um, so yeah, this would be a really good option bar that I think a lot of people should check out because it's a really, really strong bar and it's likely a lot stronger than what a lot of people are riding. All right, so just like we learned on the hybrid bar, the curves of the radio can actually make the product stronger uh, when you're landing or there's force on the handlebars, maybe your scooter goes flying and lands upside down, who knows? So the sentry bars are kind of the same way. The, the curves really help disperse the stress areas so they're a stronger design. And we actually offer the thrash resistant lifetime guarantee as well on these. These are the bars I personally ride uh, I, write, I get custom ordered ones because I'm so tall, but I like how the design takes up some of the vertical room so that my super tall bars maybe don't look quite as tall, which probably isn't the case. Um, so yeah, that wraps up uh, going through kind of the simulations of each handlebar. We're going to cruise by the warehouse and give you guys a quick warehouse tour um, and then yeah, announce the winners like I said earlier. So when you come into Tilt, all the scooter stuff's actually like on the other side of the shop and this side is just kind of like a bunch of other wheeled toys, so like we have the bus, a bunch of motorcycles, uh, bicycles, whatever, so we can check it out. This is a bathroom, it says drop zone. I built this bike at the last shop when we were in uh, Chicago, so yeah, pretty much everything's custom on it from like the seat, the license plate holder, this is like an old tractor part that I used, all the pegs, it's got Continental Grips on it. This is just kind of where we work on stuff like for the bus, so we have workbench, a bunch of tools, and then a whole heap of random junk and parts. This is the, the little Mario Kart go-kart. It's like a crazy, loud, uh, mod 
modified chainsaw engine and uh, yeah we like rip it around the shop and crash and bus everybody's probably seen it on Instagram uh, it's pretty crazy how big it is it's like freaking huge so we're gonna build it out uh, over the next like year for a big tour next year so we're kind of working on it right now doing some like maintenance and some little stuff super cool mural on the wall uh, the mural was done by Mike's illustrator Mike and then uh, marketing guy Chris so yeah they put in a ton of work and then some of my friends came by and actually helped paint it too like when we moved into here. Recycling is super important so we have cardboard recycling, steel recycling, aluminum, cans and bottles, plastic, paper, and trash. So if you ever like send your part back here we recycle it. So here's an SCS. Here's some scrap wheel molds that were no good that we threw away and like a bunch of old like wheel parts and other crap. So yeah, we send it all back and it gets into, turned into new aluminum and in essence, we get to make more scooter parts and other stuff out of it. It's like our little kitchen area. It's pretty sorry looking, but there's like a coffee maker in there, a microwave, a couple of refrigerators. This is our one conference table that we all work at. I don't really believe in offices. Um, there's quite a few people, like Dylan Kasson does all the video stuff for Tilt, he works remote. Chris Martin, the marketing guy, he works remote. Uh, Mike Spaziri, who does all the illustrations, that I can show you a board of like all his illustrations in a second. He works remote. And then like Annie, our bookkeeper, she works remote. So there's only like me, Joe, and Christian here. And we just work from here and we can always talk and stuff. I hate offices. It's better to just like have everybody talking. Here's some prototypes. Oops, hide that. You can see this. It's a new grip tape coming out. Six by 23. We try to like build everything we have. So like we all built this table together. Christian worked with like this crazy woodworking guy and like did the top. So we have one grind box here and then we have uh, the rail that's bolted into the floor. It's like pretty solid. Ooh. So yeah, if you ever like come to tilt, we have a good rail. We have like the A-frame propped up like a bank right now. And then a the couple other boxes are behind the A-frame right now. You gotta hold that thing up. Scooter check. New tilt complete. All of this is uh, orders going up. These are the handlebars that we were talking about that was in the first segment of the video. This is all of Mike's designs, mostly. Chris did some stuff in here and a few other people contributed uh, from the past too, so don't want to give the credit to one guy, but the majority of it's him. This area, we have our TV, and behind here are some big speakers, so uh, we can like watch scooter videos play music, do whatever. We have it off right now to film the video. Uh, but some of our favorite things we've made, I'm a big fan of the, the old camo stuff we did. I love the six signature wheels that we did. We have Christian Dean. Yo. So if you <laughs> ride a tilt part, chances are in North America, he's touched it. Thanks Christian. Mm -hmm. So this is our big packaging table. Another horrible idea, we made this. It's like a really thick piece of bowling alley that weighs like 750 pounds and we made a table out of it. We only keep inventory in this area for North America. So like we have distributors in like Russia, throughout Europe, Australia that have like their own tilt inventory for those countries. So here we don't actually keep that much products. It's just for North America. And everything tilt does besides the bars, we don't make a deck yet. Yeah, uh, is like really small. Oh, here's another prototype that's out. This is uh, Dylan Kasson's signature gritty grit that's coming out. Um, he shot on the transport trip last summer, he shot a ton of photos with like a crazy film camera that looked like that. So we illustrated on some grip tape. It's the extra coarse grit, a lot of people like that. So that's gonna come out, uh, I wanna say in about six weeks or a month. So we'll keep you posted, follow us on Instagram and you'll know. All right, so that's pretty much the warehouse tour. Uh, Tilt is very much a virtual company. Like we don't have a ton here. Uh, it's all about people all over the world and that's kind of how we operate and this place is really just for fun It's a place to ride scooters call home work on tour vehicles uh, like the van or the bus um, So yeah, I got to announce the winner for all the parts that we used in last month's episode and that is going to Sam Laidlaw So I'll hit you up on Instagram get your information and send it out and then 
This week was all about handlebars. So if you guys comment, let us know something you want to learn or something you have learned or something you want us to talk about for the future. Yeah, leave a comment. I'll choose somebody. You can win any style handlebar that you want from Tilt. Only one, not all of them. Next month, I think we're talking about some crew collaborations we have coming up as well as a couple other things. Uh, so yeah, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.